Welcome to the Dentamax Tip of the Week. Today we're going to talk about how to get the correct fees onto your patient's ledger as well as the correct fees onto your patient's statements and insurance claims. There's nothing worse than having the wrong fees in these parts of the program. If you do, you'll collect the wrong amounts from your patient and make a big mess. Uh, so to start, uh, we're going to go ahead and make an appointment. I'm going to go ahead and uh, add an appointment here for Ronald James. This is a new patient appointment. We can see that because there's a piece of paper behind this uh, little icon person here in the upper left hand corner of the appointment. We'll go ahead and double click on the appointment that we've already made. This is a new appointment for a not of record patient. So this patient does not have a record within the system. We just made the appointment. Okay. Um, so on to this appointment. We're going, going to go, go ahead and add a multi-code um, or an explosion code for an initial adult visit. Okay. The program, because there's not a permanent patient record set up yet, the program is going to pick your UCR, your usual customary and reasonable fees, your cash fees, as if they didn't have insurance, and place this onto the appointment. Okay. We'll go ahead and save our changes. Well, it turns out that Ronald James, um, when he comes in, has wonderful insurance. He has Delta Dental. So we're going to go ahead and right click on the appointment and click on create the permanent patient record. Okay. Part of creating the permanent patient record is to add insurance. We're going to go ahead and add our information in here for this patient. And part of this new information will include insurance. We'll go ahead and go over to the insurance tab here. Okay. And then from here, um, let's go ahead and we'll add Delta Dental of Arizona. Now, if we zoom into Delta Dental of Arizona, it has a different fee schedule. It has fee schedule number eight. Okay. So the fees. Um, fee schedule number eight, um, for example, for a periodic oral evaluation, it's $27. That is different from the fee that the program usually originally grabbed from fee schedule number one, or ECR fee, which is showing $42 for a per periodic oral evaluation. Let's go ahead and go back down to fee schedule number eight. We'll go ahead and save our changes. And so we have set up this new um, patient record for our appointment. And Ronald comes into the office, and we're ready to set this appointment complete and post these items over to the ledger. So we'll go change status to being complete. Okay. The program will say, hey, uh, the procedure amounts entered are different than the fee scheduled amounts. Choose the amounts to use. And so originally when we set up this, pay, this appointment um, for this new uh, not of record patient, uh, we hadn't set up their insurance yet. So we used the UCR fees. Um, the entered amount on those appointments, okay, showing these dollar figures here. Um, but we then later set up Delta Dental, which had a different fee schedule. The program is smart enough to recognize that fact, so we'll go ahead and click here, use the fee schedule amounts, and you'll note these dollar amounts change to the negotiated contracted fee schedule amount with Delta Dental. So now when you post these items over, we can click on Post All, um, and go to Ledger, it's posting over the correct amount the contract amount, the fee schedule amount that you have with Delta Dental. Um, thus, keeping your, your financials correct and, and allowing you to correct, collect the correct amount from your patient. These are the fees that are used to calculate your patient's portion of the bill and are used throughout the program, including the patient's statement. Okay, the fees right here on your ledger screen. When it comes to creating claim forms, however, you have three options of the fees that you would like to appear on your claim form. One of the option, it, one of the options is to include these same fees on the claim form. Another option is to use uh, the UCR fees on your claim form. And a third option is to use your negotiated PPO fee schedule on your claim form. I'm going to show you how to do all three. Okay, but again, let me reiterate. These are the fees you use throughout the program, everywhere in the program, including on your patient statement, used to calculate your patient's portion of the bill. But when it comes to the claim and the claim alone, you have three other additional options. Let's go ahead. We will click on Delta Dental of Arizona. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Delta, Delta, Delta Dental of Arizona is using fee schedule eight. Um, if we click on Delta Dental here to look at fee schedule eight, we'll see that there's a $27 um, fee set up for our periodic oral evaluation uh, for fee schedule eight. 
However, our UCR fee um, is being used for the fee schedule on the claim. Okay, and so if we were to create a claim using this, this scenario, the way we have the program set up for our oral evaluation, um, it's going to charge $42. Okay, so let's go ahead. We'll go back to our uh, ledger screen, and right here it shows that there's $27 being used throughout the program, including the patient statement, everywhere. Uh, but for the claim, since we had chose to use the UCR fee to appear on the claim, when we create the claim, so we'll go ahead and click on Create Claim, it's going to choose not the $27, but the $40, $42 for our periodic oral evaluation, $42. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and we'll del del delete our claim that we created. Okay, go ahead and click on Delete Claim. Um, so obviously, if we went back into the insurance plan and we selected the Schedule 8 or uh, our fee to appear on the claim, and then we go ahead and create a claim, it will show um, $27 for our periodic or evaluation. We'll go ahead and click on Create Claim and say yes. And instead of showing the higher amount, it's showing $27 for our periodic oral evaluation. Now the third option, okay, so we've showed the sh we can show the UCR fees, we can show the negotiated PPO fee. The third option is let's say that we change the fee on this. Let's say for some reason we wanted to just change the fee to $20. Okay, we'll change it to $20. Click on Save Changes. I'm going to make sure that claim I've deleted it out for Arnold. Delete claim so we can recreate another one for our example. We'll go back into Delta Dental of Arizona, and for fee schedule on claim, I'm going to just delete it out. Okay, boom. When I create my claim, it will choose the information from my ledger screen. So let's go ahead and show you that. We'll click on Create Claim here on the side. We'll say yes, and it will show my $20 now, the, the dollar amount from my ledger screen. All right, you may ask yourself, why so many options? <laughs> well, it depends on your practice and your situation. Um, when it comes to claims, um, the insurance company will do a statistical analysis of your area. And if you're a negotiated uh, contractor for that insurance company, no matter what you bill them, they know that you are a contracted provider. And so they, they're going to have you write off or tell you that you can't charge those higher amounts. Uh, but your job, a lot of doctors feel like they want to increase the average for their area. And so if they're billing a lower amount, uh, they surely aren't helping increase the average. In fact, they might be hurting the average for their area of what's being billed in the insurance companies, and they're never going to get a raise from those insurance companies. And so that's one of the reasons why offices like to build uh, the UCR amounts. Uh, another reason is sometimes insurance companies may give you a raise, and you might not be aware of that. And so if you're billing a lower amount, but they've raised the amount that they're willing to reimburse you, guess what they're going to pay? They're going to pay the lower amount that you bill. Okay. So a couple of reasons there for billing UCR amounts. Some practices feel obligated to bill only contracted, negotiated amount, the fee schedule provided by the insurance company to the provider as a PPO provider for that insurance company. So you can do that. Uh, and then the third option, some practices just want to have the same numbers that are used on the fee schedule, uh, used throughout the program, including the patient statement, to have that used on the claim itself. And so you have those three options. I hope this tip of the week has been helpful, and we look forward to next week. Thank you so much.